the UK, anyone that's into the competition, and normal fishing as well. And we've got the, the Dal Bach. Now, this is a very popular a colour combination, the natural. Uh, it's a red, natural red fibres. In this case it's dyed black body with a red holographic rib, a red head. Now, it's a very simple fly to tie. It can be fished anywhere in the cast really. So tie it up to yourself. Now, thread, I'm using a uni thread 8.0, in this case in black. Hook, the bigger size, the best, biggest size we can go. It's a size 10, and this is a Kamasan, it's a B175. And we simply start with thread at the eye. This, this one's tied, the body style is tied short, so I run the thread to the point, and you can get them even shorter than this. Some go traditionally like towards the, the barb of the hook. But with this one, I'm to the point. It's using, these are just Chinese cock necks, natural brown. Pulling off a few fibres, around 90 degrees from the stem, just so that it line up. It's not a very good hackle, that. Go to another one. If you're not happy with the hackle, go to another one. Yeah, so again, just bring them 90 degrees from the stem. Pull the fibres out. Length of the tail. Look in the length of the, the full length of the shank. Tie on top, but onto the bare hook with a couple of turns. So I'm heading down the way. You can see the wee space there with the turn of thread. It's your length. Trim away your waist. Tie in your rib. Now the rib's going to be a small red holographic tinsel. UTC or whatever one you can get. Again, this is the full length of the body. And a turn down. So you, when you go to wind your rib up, it starts from the, the beginning of the body. For the body, as I said, dyed black, peacock. These are quite fine feathers. I selected these fibres, sorry, so they're quite thin and not too sort of hero like I want it quite a fine hero. Then we tie them in by the tip, catch them with a turn or two, and then work my way up, tying in. The rib tail fibres, or the waist ends anyway. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now to make the fly last that wee tad longer, what I like to do is get some super glue. Not a lot, very light, coat top and bottom. And wind the herald towards the opposite way and winding it towards myself. Which is the opposite way I wind the rib on and my thread. Work your way up. Cross your thread. And uh, do a turn, then a turn onto the hook. Do the same again. This will lock it in. And bring my rib up straight away so that if there's any, which there will be, there would be a bit of super glue coming through the fibre catch in your rib. Catch it in. Turn away. Now, you can give it a second or so just to make sure it's dry before you do anything else. Should be fine. As long as you don't put too much on. If you put too much on and you touch the body, you'll stick to it, really. Or you'll basically cause the fibres to go white. This way it's fine. You can check the tail sitting right on top. It's fine. Now I'm using the same hackle. You could use a hen hackle if you want. I'm using the same fibre. Again, bring it 90 degrees from the stem. We tied more fibre here for the for the throat. And length, you're looking at the back of the body. Now I'm going to pinch and loop up the way. Now you can turn your hook upside down and tie it in, but I like to save a bit of time by holding it underneath. Pinch the thread. Come up. Making sure that your fingers are on the side and not allowing the... which will stop the fibres coming round, but keep them underneath. Make sure it's nice and tight. Use your finger to hold the thread away. 
grab the tips, the waste end of the cork fibres, trim, wax on your thread, nice and tight, and there we are, and that's it. Now, you could stop at that, it's a good dial back itself, just the way it is, but what I'm going to do is tie in some orange goose by it, these are a hot orange goose by it, just want two, tear them off, have to separate these two, just going to tidy up the ends, cut them together, you can take the corners off slightly just around it, And then, when down either side to the second turn, the, the, or basically two turns down from the head, and just fold them so they're on either side. Yeah, a couple of turns, just to see how they're sitting. Where you want them before you tighten up. Yeah, this needs to come up a wee bit. Just want to align with the body. Then. Wax on your thread, tie, take your thread tight, turns towards the eye, come away from the eye, keep the thread tight, and then basically tear these off. Normally they tear off, usually okay, but there's a wee tiny bit left, so what I'm going to do is bring the thread to that point, fold them back. Make sure not see them nice and tight. There we are. Head, I'm just going to go back to my holographic tinsel. Tie it on now, on my side. Let's turn this all. Nice and tight, down towards the eye. Now what I'm going to do here is some super glue onto the head. And then using Holographic tinsel wind down. Just allow it to stick. Don't not tight, don't want it tight, just want it to come round. It'll stick instantly. Come under with your thread. Couple of turns. Trim away the waste. Couple of turns to whip finish. Which is not many. Remember I'm gonna basically super glue and varnish this head so it's going to be well protected. There we go. Looks okay. It's fine. As I say, come around the, to speed up the head, but this is how I finish the fly, it's quite simple. So I just come around with the super glue. Just take your time. Now this is Loctite super glue with the brush. And what I do is I trim the brush down to make it easier to apply. Now the brush, I don't know if you can see, but I've chopped off quite a lot. Just a sliver on one side. And what I like to do is to speed up the process of drying the super glue just by the hairdryer. Now if there's wee fibres or anything, I use the back of my nail just to tap them in, stick them. See how the Everything's sitting, it looks okay. Now that should be dry. See how the goose planks are sitting, that's fine. Finish off with a coat of varnish, this clear varnish. All the way around, this is from Venures, this one, which one I like. All the way around. Clean the eye out. Any waste piece of wire lying on your desk or your dubbing needle, whatever you like. I like to use a piece of wire. And there we go. And that's the dial back. Or a, one of the many versions out there. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed that.